Hey guys, it's Jenna What Is Up and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing such a fun and different video for me. I've never done this before, obviously, because this is kind of like a one-time thing. I don't think you can do this more than once. Basically what I'm trying to say is I ended up doing the 23andMe saliva test thing and we are going over my results today. I've watched so many of these videos and it's so cool to see all of the different results that people get. Obviously there are so many different types of people and so many um, eth ethnicities. Please bear with me. I have always, I don't know why, said ethnicity and I've just recently discovered that it's not ethnicity, it's ethnicity. I don't know where the added nin in there comes from, but it's just a Gemma thing. I'm sorry, I like to make up my own words, but anyways, we're going to get right into my results. I actually wrote them down, which after writing this down and looking at them, I'm like, Jenna, you have a cell phone. You could have just brought it up on your cell phone. Like, I don't know why I felt the need to write it down, but I do like writing things down. So I had fun doing it. That's all that matters. So I have it all written down here and I'm really excited to kind of dive into my background. A little background on myself and what I knew before this. I did not know really anything about my background and my ethnicity. It's really hard for me to say. Um, but yeah, I didn't really know. This is never really anything or it's never really something that came up in my family. We've obviously like chatted about like, oh, where this grandparent came from or where this grandparent came from. Like, okay, so the first thing that we're going to chat about is obviously my background and my ethnicity. Basically, I have discovered that I am 100% European, which I did not expect that whatsoever. I thought maybe I had some other stuff in me, but like literally it's just 100% European. Obviously that kind of branches off to different parts of Europe and stuff. So just to break it down, I am 91.7% Northern European. So that's like majority of it. So 39% of that is British and Irish, which I did not know. I knew I was Scottish, so maybe that's in there as well, but that's 39% of it, so that's like what I am most. And then I am 27.7% French and German, which I do not speak any French. Um, a lot of people do ask because I live in Canada if I speak any French and like literally bonjour and au revoir, that's, that's all I got. That's, really all I got. I only took French up until grade 10 and then it got really, really difficult. So I stopped. But yeah, so 27.7% French and German. I am 2.2% Scandinavian and then 22.8% broadly Northwestern European, which I have no idea what that is. They didn't really break that down. So I'm thinking that's just like the rest of it possibly. And then the other two little teeny tiny bits are 2.6% Eastern European, which they didn't say where that was. And then 1.8% Ashkenazi Jewish. So I guess I am slightly Jewish, which I did not know. And I don't know what Ashkenazi is, but I guess that's a kind of Jewish person. I don't know, but I'm 1.8%. So barely anything and I did not know I had anything to do with the Jewish culture. So that is really cool to know. But yeah, so that is everything which I thought was really cool. I have absolutely no like Asian or anything in me which I kind of assumed because we never actually had anything to do with that sort of thing. I was kind of like slightly hoping I had like a tiny bit in me because I've always been really interested in the Asian culture and that sort of thing. But unfortunately, nada. So yeah, that is everything for my ancestry. There's also one thing that was super cool and it's kind of confusing. I don't really know what this is, but basically we all have some variants of Neanderthal, which I always thought Neanderthal was just like a word you used for like, you know, you're a Neanderthal. Like you're, you're crazy. I don't, I don't know. I just, always thought of Neanderthal as like a different thing, but apparently a Neanderthal was actually a human from over 40,000 years ago that mated with modern human, but then went extinct, I think. They kind of put a little spiel in about them, but basically we all have um, different amounts of variants of a Neanderthal, which basically is a smaller type of human 
not modern human, it's like a different, more like an ape-like human, but that sounds so weird because I actually have a lot of Neanderthal variants. Basically, I think the number one person on 23andMe had 397 variants and I have 297 variants. And it says that I have more Neanderthal variants than 78% of everybody on 23andMe, which I thought was super cool, but at the same time, it's like kind of weird because I'm like apparently ape-like, which thinking about it, yes, like I do have some pretty dark hair. I do shave my arms and stuff because I hate hair, but I do have really dark hair, that sort of thing. I am pretty short and like my legs are stubby and that sort of thing. So I guess that's kind of it. I don't know. But I thought it was cool that I had more than 78% of everybody. But yeah, that was one thing going into the more health side, which they actually say on 23andMe that with the um, genes and stuff, which if you do not know, 23andMe basically comes from the fact that us as humans have 23 chromosomes that make up us as a person and then they test those chromosomes and this is where they get all the results. And the health part of it is really interesting. So the first thing, they test your genetics and basically you can have different genetics for different um, health risks and stuff. And a lot of the risks I did not have any variants for. And most of the time with the different health risks, there are two variants that you can have. So if you have both of those variants for that health risk, you have more of a risk. You can also just have one of the variants of the two for that health risk. But basically, I only have two things that I even like tested positive for, I guess. But again, they say that you can't really determine if you're gonna get it just by these genes. Obviously, you as a human and your surroundings and that sort of thing come into play when it comes to these health things. So, the one thing I did quickly wanna mention, my grandfather, he actually passed away from Alzheimer's and I do not have any of those variants so obviously it runs in the family but I don't carry those like genes I guess but there's still a possibility of me getting it in the future if that makes sense I hope that makes sense anyways the one thing that I actually um, tested both like positive I have both of the variants for is this is gonna be hard age-related macular degeneration which you guys probably are like, what? What the heck is that? Basically what that is, is as you age, your eye vision gets worse. And I tested positive for both of the variants. So basically I have more of a risk of developing sight issues as I get older, which I kind of assumed because I already have sight issues now. I do have glasses and that sort of thing. So that's one thing I wasn't really surprised about, but it's just cool to know that like I have both of those variants or genes, I guess. And then the other thing that I only tested one variant for out of the two was, this is really, I guess it's not that bad, but it is hereditary hemochromatosis, which basically is that my body like takes in more iron, I guess. So um, this could possibly damage my joints and my organs, certain organs over time, which I only tested positive for one of the variants. So I guess I just have like a higher risk of it. I'm like really talking with my hand right now, but when I get really in depth with this sort of like technical stuff, I always talk with my hands. It's actually something I get from my dad, which thanks dad, I look crazy. But yeah, so I tested positive for one of those variants um, of getting that, which, I don't even know what it is and we'll see. I already have bad joints as it is because I am a dancer and about my organs, I don't know. We'll have to see in the future. But yeah, those are the two like health risks, I guess. There are like a huge list, but I did not test positive for like any of the variants, which is kind of interesting. But then obviously, like I said, this doesn't like solidate that I'm going to get any, is that even a word? This does not, make it like a solid thing that I'm not gonna get anything. Moving into the last thing that I wanted to chat about, which I thought was probably the coolest thing that I discovered with this 23andMe test, and that is that my muscular composition, so basically my muscles, are common in elite power athletes, which is really, really cool and kind of explains why 
If you guys have seen pictures of me and my body, I do have a very athletic body shape and I don't know. I just am very muscular. I gain muscle pretty easily and I do have a really fast metabolism. So that's kind of not a surprise to me that I have like the same gene or variants to many power athletes. I don't really know what they mean by elite power athletes, but basically they say that I have the same genes as many um, like runners and sprinters and jumpers and that kind of thing. So it was really cool to find that out and like see that like, oh, that's kind of why I'm built the way I am. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. I think that is everything for this video. It wasn't a crazy long video and it was a very chatty video, but I was still really, really happy to kind of find out these different things about myself. A lot of the stuff I already knew, um, but like the more ancestry part of it, I was really surprised about because I've never really went in depth with that with my family. A lot of them don't even know a lot of this stuff and I guess it's not really a topic that we talk about very often. But I thought it was really cool to just like find out that I am full on European. I am 100% European, which is really cool to know. And then obviously all of the health things are really nice to know as well and that muscular composition thing was just an awesome little cherry on top. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy hearing all of my 23andMe results, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, I will link 23andMe down below. This is not sponsored. I full on purchased this kit by myself from Amazon. They were having like a, I think it was on Boxing Day that I ended up purchasing this. They were having a sale on it. So I decided to purchase it and it was really fun to kind of discover things about myself. So yeah, if you are interested in going and doing the same test, I will link 23andMe down below. Um, and yeah, comment down below if you've taken the test and what um, ethnicity you are. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.